Oh my god, there are so many suits here. But suit on which the meri jana. You guys have to tell me who I'm imitating there. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a highly requested video. This video has to do with my Indian closet. So because I don't wear suits on a regular basis, a lot of my suits are not in my closet. They're actually in an atechi. And a lot of you Indian people out there can understand the struggle. When you have too many suits, you have to put them in a atechi to kind of keep them all together. So today I'm hoping to share all the suits that I've worn in previous videos for you guys. And then probably some new ones as well. I actually don't even know what's at the bottom of this dechi, so it's going to be news to me and it's going to be fun for you guys to watch. The first few things that I pulled out of my dechi are three chunnis or dupattas, as people like to call them. Um, and I've worn these in some of my previous videos, probably the most recent ones. The first one is one of my favorites, and I know a lot of you like this one as well. It's the Fulkari chunni. Um, and it's black, which is my favorite color, as you guys already know. Um, and this is actually my sister's, so I don't have a suit with this. But if you guys recall in my video, I ended up wearing it with an old navy dress, and then I put a pajami with it, like a gold pajami. And as you guys know, I'm pregnant, so I had to do that with a lot of my recent videos. I had to kind of remix my outfits. I wore that gold dress um, with quite a few dupattas as well. So my second dupatta, I actually wore this one. It's, uh, the embroidery on here is Gortapati. Again, this is my sister's and I paired it with a golden color dress that I had bought from H&M. And a lot of you have been asking me um, how, I style, how I style my outfits and how I get the inspiration. Well, if you live in Canada or the US or anywhere overseas, it can be quite pricey to buy outfits. So I like to kind of remix my outfits and figure out ways that I can make them look different. I like to actually pair these dupattas with like solid colors. So for example, if there's black in the outfit, I wore the black dress. And then for a few of the dupattas actually, I wore that gold dress and I paired them with a plain pajami. And with that, you can kind of pull out the colors from the dupatta as well. So for this one, I wore the gold. And then I'm gonna go on to my next journey. Uh, this one, I actually, if you guys recall, I, I wore it for my Karva Choth video. And this one's really, really cute. It kind of has bells on it, jingles a bit. And this is from my wedding. I didn't actually have a suit to go with this. It just was something that they draped over me. I also paired this one with the gold H&M dress. So this next outfit I'm gonna show you guys was actually a sari before. And I got it made into a long um, kind of a narkali. And I wore it to my cousin's wedding. And I also did a video for you guys on this look. And basically, the reason why I ended up making it into a suit or an anarchy is because just with being so small, when I went to India, I thought, okay, no, I can so wear this as a sari, but with all the embroidery and stuff, I just felt like it was weighing me down and it was just too much for me. So what I did was it came with this top part, the blouse. So the blouse stayed like this. The back is really pretty too. So that was the back. And then the bottom of the anarchy has the border from the sari already. Um, and then just kind of finished off the center of it with some gurta. And the really neat thing about this is I paired it with a pair of pants. So I paired it with um, some kadar silk pants. So they look like this. And then the coolest part of all is I used the actual palla, or some people call it pallu, uh, to make a chunni. So what, what this actually, the design of this one was that it had already like um, a lot of embellishment on the palla part. And again, with being short, the whole sizing thing was all off. So I was able to actually keep the palla, but use it as a dupatta. So it kind of looks like this. It's like one of those like butterfly style and then I was able to like drape it over my shoulder and then have half of it hang at the back, half of it at the front. So it actually turned out really nice and nobody could tell that I had made it out of a sari. Okay, so my next outfit is definitely in one of my favorite colors, pink. This one I also did a video for you guys, but I don't think I showed you guys exactly what the embroidery looked like. So I'm gonna show you guys that. In a and it looks like this. It has some embroidery on the neck a little bit on the arms and then a little border on the bottom of the suit. 
also has a very heavy dupatta. So the dupatta kind of looks like that. And I really like the way the pink and the red go together. So a lot of you might be wondering where I get my inspiration from. Uh, a lot of it is from the internet, from Instagram. I like to follow a lot of these um, uh, designers and kind of make, make like my own twist to these outfits. Um, and then I paired this outfit with a gold pajami. And I've actually gotten so much use out of this pajami. It's one of those like lycra ones. If you live in India, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. They sell these everywhere in like every color possible. Okay, so this outfit you guys haven't seen before. Um, it's in crepe de chine, so pure crepe. And it looks like this. It's like a little uh, frock type dress. And um, the embroidery on here is very nice because it's um, kind of like that antique looking embroidery. And I'm sorry if you guys can see all the wrinkles in this. This is the reason why it would be nice to have all my suits hanging. But because they're in the suitcase, they're all wrinkled. But you guys can kind of get the hint. And then on the back, when I got it stitched, it actually came with arms with embroidery. But I didn't want arms on the suit, so they put the embroidery on the back where the zipper is. And also the dupatta has a really nice border on it like that to match the actual top. And it has a brown pajami with it. And unfortunately, right now, as you guys already know, I'm pregnant. So I can't fit into this outfit, but my goal is to fit back into this outfit and definitely do a look for you guys. Okay, guys, so this outfit, believe it or not, I've tried to film it three times. And for some reason, those tutorials have never turned out. They got deleted once. One time I tried to edit and the file was corrupt. So anyways, this outfit is jinxed. But again, I'm going to try to fit back into this after I give birth. So this is one of my favorites. It's um, a vel crushed velvet suit. Um, I got the back pretty deep uh, with long sleeves. And it just has like a plain dupatta with it, just like little embroidery on it. And it's with a green pajami. Well, this outfit I actually got from Dili and um, it was just the material and I ended up getting it stitched here in Canada. So this has to be one of my favorite outfits because it's so versatile. You can dress it up or down. This one comes with uh, some brocade pants. And the top is really cool. It's velvet and it has a bit of brocade accents to it on the arms. And then I really like the way they did the slits. So when I walk, you can actually see that it matches. And the dupatta with this one, I can't really find it right now, but it's navy blue. And one of my friends actually got this made for me in India. I actually sent her a picture. I saw a picture of this, of some girl on Instagram wearing this and it actually turned out pretty similar. I think the one that I saw was green, but this one I got navy blue. And if you guys haven't already seen it, I've worn this outfit in my Eid tutorial and I think that look turned out really good. So if you guys are looking for some inspiration, definitely check that out. Okay, I have a tendency to gravitate towards like brighter colors. And I definitely got this one made in for the summer. So it's just a kind of silk suit. It's pretty simple with some gold buttons on it. And the back, kind of a deeper back. And I actually had paired it with um, a pair of palazzo pants to match with this. And they look like this. Sorry, again, they're pretty wrinkled, but you get the idea. And they're really comfortable because they have an elastic on the top. And it went really well. And I wore it with also a gold journey, which my sister is boring right now, so I can't show you guys that. But it actually looks really nice on. Again, this is an outfit that you can dress up or down. I wore it for my cousin's Jura ceremony and I wore it with like big earrings. So I actually did a look that was inspired by Jasmine Sandlas wearing this outfit. And it was actually inspired not by the looks that she had in the video, but by the song. So it was Bam Jart and Punjabi Mutiara. So this one I actually did earlier on when I started my YouTube channel. I did this look wearing the suit. It's kind of a, an arkali. Um, the, what they call this is actually kaliya. There's like different like colors of fabric. It's not actually one piece of fabric. I don't know if you can see on the back. It has like different fabrics um, sewn together. So I was actually inspired um, to get this one. This is actually a custom made suit. Uh, me and my sisters all got the same one. I think just different colors. And um, I was inspired by a clipping that I had taken from a magazine. So we have a lot of Indian wedding magazines here in Canada. So 
I remember clearly that I had cut out a bunch of uh, pictures of suits that I really liked and I actually sent them to India with my mom to get made. And the dupatta on this one's really pretty. Um, again, the dupatta is so cute you can pair it with anything else because it has that golden color. So this is the border on the bottom. And then the inside of the dupatta is just all gold. So even if you wanted to, you could make like a fuchsia silk suit or a green um, or even a golden color. And then it's just paired with a green pajami. Oh wow, so I found my sari that I wore for my Navratri look. This one has a halter blouse. And the sari is gray and fuchsia. It's actually really pretty. So this is a design that I came up with by myself. Um, I can't remember if I picked these colors. It's been so long since I've had this. And I actually don't wear too many sarees because, uh, as you guys already know, I'm not very tall. Um, but the, t the times I do wear sarees, I like to have something that's original. So this one I thought was perfect for me. It looks pretty heavy, it just, but it's just sequins. So it's not super, super heavy. Okay, this is another suit that I feel like you can dress up or down. It's um, this kind of gota work on it. And I wore it in my Corby inspired look. So this came with a um, kind of a two-tone dupatta. And it looks like that. So this one has a salvar. Typically I like to wear pajamas with being like shorter and smaller. I just feel like salvars are a little bit too bulky for me. But this one I feel like I can get away with wearing a salvar. Okay, this suit is actually a couple years old, um, but it's also a custom made suit. Uh, this is the dupatta. I'm gonna show you guys that first. It's actually another one of my favorites. So I got it made around the same time as I got that anarchy one I showed you with the different colors, with the kaliya. So it has a net dupatta and this is the border. And it comes with this color pajami. And the top is really pretty. This is something that I have to fit into after because it's so cute. It's velvet and I love the color combination because it's really different. So looks like that and then the bottom has like a border like that. So I actually found another sari in my dechi and it's a sari I actually got from my mother-in-law and it's a halter blouse. The color is actually very pretty and then the sari is net. So it looks like that. It actually is really pretty and because it's just sequins and it's very small sequences, it's very light. Um, I wish I could get more wear out of it. I think I've only worn this once though. Maybe in the new year I can do a video and maybe do a look with this. And because it's net, it comes with a petticoat or petticoat that is um, satin. So I know you guys are probably thinking all these suits are my favorite, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I don't really want to open this because um, I'm going to have to fold it again, but anyways, you guys can see what it looks like and if you don't get a good idea of what it looks like, I've worn it in one of my tutorials. And this outfit I really like because I don't really have a purple and green outfit like this. So for this outfit, it was just the material that I had gotten from India and I actually ended up sending it back with my mom when she went to get it stitched there. Um, and I got some pants made with it and then I got the actual... Uh, top part of it made like three quarter length sleeves so it was very like sleek looking and because it's silk it holds its shape really well. This one's old, it's um, a suit, another suit that I wore in one of my tutorials and it's, um, I believe it's like, uh, it's silk um, and then what it is is it's printed silk and then there's all this embroidery all over it and then it comes with, um, as you can see there's a bit of purple, it comes with a purple salvar and a purple and red juni. Okay, so I searched long and hard in my techie for this Indian suit that I had and I did it in one of my tutorials. It was a floral print. Um, I can't find it. I think it's still at my mom's house. It must be in another bag somewhere. I do have the dupatta here and it looks like this with this border. And I found the pajami, but there's no suit. So sorry guys, um, but I will put a link down below so if you guys want to check out what that look looked like. Um, but this juni is so versatile that I've been able to pair it with so many different outfits. So this juni is so versatile that I wore it with um, 
a white suit, which I'm going to show you guys. And I also wore it for an Avratri look, which you guys really enjoyed. And I paired it with that same gold dress. Um, so that's already like three outfits I was able to make out of this one uh, pajami and juni. So I'm going to show you guys the white suit. So I don't know if you guys recall for this look that I did, um, I wasn't able to show you guys what it looked like on because I needed some alterations done. So when I filmed that tutorial, I was about four or five months pregnant. So I needed the alterations done. I was going to a party, so I was unable to show you what it looked like on. But post-pregnancy, I'm hoping to shed all the weight and fit back into this outfit so I can actually show you guys what it looks like. So this is one of my favorite outfits, not only because it's pink, but also because it looks very rich. It was actually made out of one of my mom's favorite sarees. And because she doesn't wear sarees very often, she was like, here, take it, do whatever you want with it. So I was able to make a long sort of dress coat kind of thing. And then underneath it, I made a dress as well. Um, and because this outfit is not very form fitting, I was able to wear it while I was pregnant. So I had a wedding to go to recently and I wore it there. And the only thing I needed to do was alter the inside. So um, I just took it to a tailor around here and she was able to open it up a little bit just to fit my belly. And then the jacket stayed as is. Um, it kind of just opened up as you walk. So it was perfect. So I've gotten to the bottom of my deci and there's just like odds and ends of like fabric and different like blouses with that don't even have the sardis with them. Um, but I did come across something very interesting in this deci, which I actually had no idea was in it. It's my husband's shoes from the wedding. Yeah, I don't know where these came from, but I guess they were in the deck the whole time. Um, with that being said, I'll be right back. I have something else to show you guys. So I thought I'd share with you guys some ideas I have, because I have my husband's Shervani here that he wore to our wedding. I was actually thinking that I might make an outfit for myself out of this. So I'm hoping once I drop some pounds after the baby and if I have another maybe a family event or um, another wedding coming up in the near future, I might remix this so that I can actually wear it. So I might still keep kind of the jacket aesthetic, but it's going to be probably changed into something completely different that I can wear. Okay guys, so that's it for what's in my Indian closet. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I know for a fact that this is not all I have. Uh, there has to be some stuff missing and I'm pretty sure it's at my mom's house. Um, as I mentioned to you, I don't live in a huge space so I can't like keep all of the stuff here. And also with the baby coming, I need to free up some space. So I was hoping to get this film for you guys and show you guys exactly what I have here. And I'm going to be putting it into storage because I won't be able to wear it for a little while. Now I love wearing Indian suits and I'm so looking forward to the few weddings I do have. Um, I have one in the summer and then also in the fall for sure. So I'm hoping that I can wear some of these outfits again or maybe even get some new ones. I don't know. I might treat myself. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!